Hey everybody! So today I'm here at Campion School in Northamptonshire. I'm going to deliver a talk about BMEs uh, going into the media, how to get into the media and generally my story of how I got into the media and started my blog. Uh, I'm pretty nervous so I haven't been back to school for about five years now so I hope the kids are nice. Okay so I've just spent the morning with um, year 11 and 12 students talking to them about news stories and how I can put a news story into the BBC, um, how to write for charity and a presentation about how I got into the media. So uh, lesson one, we spoke about creative writing and you know how to champion that and how my blog actually was a way for me to put that out there and showcase what I'm doing, so from the theatre reviews that I've done to you know interviewing people and engaging with other creatives out there to create double the creativity um, just really championing all of that and telling kids about you know if you want to write there's nothing stopping you from writing if you want a career in the media a blog is a great great way to start because you're able to put out there you know what you're doing and how it is you're doing that and it kind of works as an online CV um, employers are going to google you they're going to see what comes up, whether it be your blog, your YouTube, you know, and see what it is that you're getting up to. And that's really important these days because, you know, technology and social media, the internet is a great tool that's, that's moving forward. It's revolutionising what we are today. I mean, I've had thousands of comments coming from loads of people talking about, you know, as a blogger, I just next this, don't get to the background, oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah, talking about, like, you know, what it is that made you set up your blog and the journey of how it started from a fashion blog to beauty blog to you know championing what's happening in the media with me and I realised I'd keep saying the word championing but that's really what my blog is all about you know championing the creativity and I've said it again I know but it is and and I hope today that I've been able to inspire some people and hopefully I get to record my talk later on uh, this afternoon for the year 12s and you know share that with you. Okay, so we've just had period one, two, three and four. Um, it's a bit overwhelming. I had kids from year 11, year 12, year nine, I'm gonna say eight. I forget their ages, but um, it's been really nice actually. Uh, really crazy to see how they were so inspired to hear my story um, and how I got into the media. Um, just sat in the office here in the media department and um, the kids are really lovely they you know that they, they want to ask questions like oh, how did you start your blog and why are you doing that and really the only answer is that because I love doing it I love to write to inspire I love anything creative and I want to talk about it and um, that was the real passion behind how I got into the media and I've just shared with them my story so uh, the last uh, lesson that I'm going to take today is uh, working with the year 13 students and really just talking to them about again how I got into the media and how I'm on this uh, scheme with uh, Creative Access who are a great great charity and they're really supporting um, BMEs trying to get into the media industry and securing us placements uh, like how I'm working at BBC uh, it feels crazy saying that like I work for the BBC uh, and the kids are just like oh my god like look at me just chilling with my badges like <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to talk about creative access and how they're championing young people and oh, my finger was just in that, uh, the way the camera there. Um, yeah, so um, period five, let's go. I'd like to thank Amber for coming in to Campion School today because I think having someone from uh, industry coming in and speaking to the students uh, gives them a great insight into uh, what it's like and the hard work that you need to fit in and to getting into the media and she's also a great role model because uh, as a school um, we really need to have positive messages going out there um, I think that's crucial because uh, we do get a bit complacent in a rural school because we have such a small ethnic um, diversity here Hi, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Amrit for coming into our school today to work with our classes. She's worked brilliantly with our year 11s, 13s, 12s, 7s, sorry, 8s and 9s. 
I met Anna when she was in year nine at school, sitting in the back of a classroom, not particularly engaged in the subject, although desperately wanting to be. So we spent three years together learning how to devour English and I'd like to think I was a little bit of an inspiration to her. But I would like to say a huge thank you to Amrit today because I'm sure she's inspired lots of young minds today. Okay, so we're stuck in traffic and I probably shouldn't be on my phone. But all in all, it's been a really great day. Um, I hope that the kids, well actually I feel that the kids really um, went away with um, some knowledge and really felt like they've been given some, some useful tips and I really just wanted to inspire them to never give up uh, on something that they want to do, uh, to persevere and that hard work, hard work does p p uh, pay off. So yeah, I hope that um, that's a, a really great start to my weekend because I'm off to India on Monday. Ah. Crazy craziness. Welcome to Amarisha's World. Bye.